Hey everyone, it is your boy Blazy here, bringing you a brand new video this fine Sunday afternoon. So, I hope everyone's had a fantastic weekend so far, uh, my weekend. I went to Buckingham Palace yesterday, which was pretty cool, uh, a little bit of British history. Uh, and then I've been straight back to ripping packs to give you guys a brand new video today. So if you cast your minds back to Friday, we opened the brand new Topps UCC Chrome Hobby Box, a fantastic collection, and we got some nice hits inside. So this year, there's three different tiers of Chrome. We've got the Blaster Boxes, the Hobby Box, and the very expensive Jumbo Box as well. So to try and help you guys work out which is the best product for you, we're gonna try and open all three of these to show you guys what is inside each one. So. In today's video, people, we're going to be opening not one, but two Topps UCC Chrome Blaster Boxes, which have four guaranteed Aqua Prisms, a guaranteed number parallel, and the chance at an autograph hit. So, it is the cheaper product. They're a little bit like Marmite. They're not everyone's favourite, but at £30 a pop here in the UK, they are a fantastic priced product to rip. And we're going to see whether it's worth buying a hobby box, which is now £210, just for context, or you could buy seven blaster boxes for the same price as a hobby box. So we're gonna rip the two blaster boxes, see what we've got inside, and try and help you guys work out which products you should go out and buy. So before we get started, people, if you enjoy today's video, then make sure you smash that like button and do subscribe and hit the bell never to miss a single video from your boy Blazy. We open every single new product to say it every time, uh, and I'm hopefully looking to see if we can do Immaculate when it drops at the end of the month, because that would be absolutely amazing. Panini Immaculate on the channel, it would blow everyone's mind. So let's see what we can do. But for now, people, it's time to rip those blaster boxes. So sit back, enjoy today's video, and let's open two Topps UCC Chrome blaster boxes. So here we have it, people. We have two Topps UCC Chrome blasters for the 23-24 season that we are gonna be opening in today's video. That's right, people. UCC Chrome is in full effect, and we're seeing if we can find some big hits from these products. So, if you haven't been watching the channel recently, I started off with a blaster on a YouTube short, and then I opened a whole hobby box for the channel on Friday's video. So, we've already got some nice hits so far. We've got ourselves an Obama Yang to 199 Auto, a 50 Elmas, a Gust Hill to 399, Forson to 75, and Forson to 250. So, a few numbered hits and an auto, and we're going to see what we can find inside these boxes. There's four guaranteed Aqua Prisms, a guaranteed numbered card, and a very small chance that there might be an autograph inside. So, you're probably thinking, Blazy, why are you not smashing open another hobby box? Why are we going for the blasters? So, blasters are significantly cheaper. A hobby box from Tops was 190 If you're looking at getting a hobby now, it's probably about 210 uh, from most websites. I'm a big fan of Sports Trading Cards UK. It's 210 over there. And yeah, you would have to, you could buy seven blaster boxes, so seven of these bad boys, for one hobby box at the moment, which is absolutely crazy. This is the most expensive we've ever seen uh, Chrome hobby boxes get. So I thought for £60, let's open two of these. And then if we want to go in a little deeper, do another hobby box, maybe look at a jumbo box, then we'll go and do that then. So for those of you who are out there, seeing two of these get opened, you've seen a hobby box opened, you guys can then work out whether you want to save up your pennies, buy yourself a hobby, or whether you want to get down to your local game store and get a couple of these instead. So if you buy seven of these, you would get seven numbered parallels and probably a one in four chance across all of those boxes of getting an autograph card versus getting three parallels from a hobby and a guaranteed autograph. So you will get a lot more numbered parallels doing it this way. You're just not guaranteed an autograph here. So difficult to know which way we're going to go. But yeah, hopefully this guys will give you a very good idea. So before we get started, people, I am going to give you the lowdown on today's product. Each of these blaster boxes retails for £30 and you can pick them up exclusively in the UK at game stores. For that price, you'll get 28 cards per box, including four Aqua Prisms and a numbered parallel card. And there is also a very small chance at getting an autograph hit. So overall, I actually really like the price of these. I give them a four and a half out of five. I think these are the best blaster products in the market. I think Select, there's so little chance of getting anything good. I think with Superstars, it's very much a volume product. This is best value for money with blasters. Better than the flagship ones we saw earlier this year. 
I love the fact they're doing blasters for Chrome. The only downside, as you collectors will know, the more products you print, the more number of parallels there are, the less chance of striking lucky there is. So, a little bit of a double-edged sword, but we are where we are with this one. So, it is time to get blaster box number one open. I did notice something interesting. This one shakes around really well. Oh, no, sorry. This one shakes around really well like a maraca. This one feels like there's almost too many packs in there. So maybe that's a good sign. Maybe it's not. We'll start off with the uh, the looser box of the two. Uh, and whilst I'm getting that open, people, if you love football card openings, uh, you're starting to get into it yourself. You've been into it for a number of years. No matter how experienced you are with collecting, then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you want to catch pretty much every new product opened uh, on the channel here uh, as the product gets released. So here we go. Blast the box number one. There should be seven packs, each containing four cards inside. There we go. Blaster box number one, people. Let's go. Fresh packs for the ripping. What are we going to find inside this blaster? So, first things first, we've got another Aqua Prism. You get four of these per box. They're a non-numbered parallel. Uh, but obviously, for those of you newer to the hobby, you've got your base cards, like these right here. Nice little chrome design. And then you've got your Aqua Prisms here. The Aqua Prisms are rarer than the base cards. You only get four in a blaster box. Um, so whilst they're not crazy expensive, they're a little bit more valuable than the base cards you see there. So first Aqua Prism is Scalavini of Atalanta. Put them down there with the Aquas. We've then got a Yambasek Rookie, a Silver Jack Grealish, and we finish off with Warren Zare Emery and Gabriel Jesus. So actually five cards in that pack, um, which sometimes does happen inside hit packs. So... I said this was a silver, guys, because you'll notice that the light refracts off the card. So this is a... I've used the wrong terminology, people. Silver is a Panini term. Refractor is a Tops term. So Panini use silver. Tops use refractor. And it's when the light refracts off the card like that. It's not mirrored like the base cards you see down there. So we might have to just make another pile. Actually, we'll just have hit piles. We've got a silver pile and an aqua pile down there at the moment. So move our base to one side. Let's do... The next pack. So, from what we can see so far, the Aquas appear to be the first card in each pack. Where they're present. Yep, again, it's happened again. This time we have ourselves an Aqua. Gabriel Jesus of Arsenal. Our second of four Aqua hits coming out of this box. We have then got ourselves a Ismail Assar for Marseille. A Coupe Miners for Atalanta. We then have a Soglo Rookie. For Marseille, some nasty print lines on there as well there, people. That is a... So you ever hear anyone reference print lines? For those of you newer to the hobby, that's where the card doesn't print it properly and you've got some nasty, nasty scratches on there. So thankfully, that's just on a base card. And we finish with a very nice insert. This insert being a Julian Alvarez shooting stars. I really like the shooting stars insert. One of the best in this collection. One thing I will say about this collection is that it, the inserts as a whole are amazing. I'm loving the debut Starball cards. Uh, I've got one with Ronaldinho on. They look really, really cool. So hopefully we find one of those inside one of these blaster boxes as well. So next pack does not have an Aqua, but we start off with a Future Stars. Kobe Maidu for Manchester United. We then have a London Calling insert, Alejandro Garnacho. You'll recall that I said these inserts are banging uh, and they are really, really good. We've then got a Refractor, you almost said silver, a Refractor Rasmus Hoyland for Manchester United. Getting down on our Refractor pile. And we then got ourselves a Kamada and a Mika Hamilton rookie to finish. So, two silvers, two aquas so far. This pack feels a lot lighter, so I don't think we're going to have anything in here. So, we have Marcel Savica, a Vita Roque rookie, uh, and a Gustav Isaacson to finish. So, only three cards inside that pack. So let's do another one. Here we go, people. Next pack. We have an Aqua off the bat. This time we have an Aqua Jared Bowen of West Ham United to start. We then have a Future Stars, Julian Alvarez. We then have one of those debut cards, people. There it is. A debut card, this time for Robert Perez in... I believe that's Marseille. It is Olympic Marseille colours. Very weird to see them in something that's not Arsenal related, but a nice Starball debut. They look good, don't they, people? I told you they look good, uh, and I do think they are the nicest looking in this set. So, very nice Starball inset. We then have Malik Tillman of PSV, and we finish off 
with a Jamie Bino Gittins Wonder Kid card. So let's do the next one here. So I think this might be our numbered card. So we have Randall Kolo Mawani, and then you can see we've got what looks like an Aqua Wave Europa League numbered. Is it? Yeah, numbered there. 15 of something. They are a forward in the Europa League. They are not a rookie. It is Mohamed Salah to 199. Mohamed Salah is the numbered hit from Blaster Box number one. Look at that there, people. Mohamed Salah to 199. Not the biggest hit, people. But if you're going to get a numbered card from one of these boxes, you want a hot rookie or you want yourself a well-known, established player. So we will take Mohamed Salah when I can... Uh, do that without damaging any of the corners. There we go. There's our numbered hit from Blaster Box number one. There we go. Mohamed Salah, people. Let's go. So, I don't think we're going to get an auto from Blaster Box number one, but we can try again with Blaster Box number two. So, let's move uh, the packs out of the way there. Let's get Mohamed Salah up on there, and we'll just keep one pile for all our aquas and all our refractors. There we go. So, other cards in that pack, just to finish it off, we have ourselves a, a Bill Altore and Gabriel Martinelli of Arsenal. So, final pack from box number one. This time, we have got ourselves a Mohamed Ali Cho. Looked like he was going to be a huge player a few years ago, but the goals have dried up. Again, not the best print line on that one there, but another nice aqua card. We then have ourselves a Sergio Ramos, a G Bellingham, Diego Gonzalez, and Fed Zizan to finish. So, blaster box, number one ripped. Nothing crazy. Um, we'll take that numbered Mohamed Salah, though. We will take that, and let's see what we can get in number two. I did notice, uh, as I'm filming this, that one of my followers got a case hit from a blaster box. So maybe we'll be as lucky as to get a case hit from our second blaster. So here we go, people. Get in that ripped. That's very really difficult to get this one ripped. Maybe it's a good sign. Maybe there's a big hit in there. So let's take a look at what we've got. Again, we've got all of our packs there. And we are ready to go again. Who are we going to find in the second blaster box? Right, here we go. Blaster box number two. Kevin De Bruyne off the bat. Aqua Prism Parallel. So a very nice KDB to start off our second blaster. We've then got ourselves a Victor Rosmian, Elif Elmaz of Napoli, an Arda Gula, all-star rookie. And we finish off with Denzel Dumfries of Inter Milan. There we go, people. I reckon from three blasters and a hobby, I might just have almost the whole base collection. We'll have to have a look and see what we're missing. We have another Aqua. This time, Yankuba Minta. That is a good one to start with, people. So for those of you that don't know Minta... He played for Newcastle United. He went out on loan to Feyenoord last year. Crazy number of goals uh, for an 18-year-old. Newcastle had to sell. And they had to sell due to the very silly, in my opinion, PSR rules. Uh, the profit and sustainability rules in the Premier League. They sold him to £35 million to uh, Brighton and Hove Albion. And he has had a great start at pre-season already. He's got a debut goal in like 20 minutes. He looks like he could be one of the next big things. So any Minters are a good result from your boxes. So, I'm very happy with that. He can sit completely separately, that Minter. We would like a numbered one, though. We would like a numbered one. So, in Cuba Minter, to start, we then have ourselves a Jao Felix, a silver Mason Mount of Man United. A few years ago, his Chelsea cards were doing big numbers. We've now got Pablo Barrios and Alexis McAllister base to finish. So, we've already seen two Aquas in the first couple of packs. We still have... Two more aquas to go. And there we go. Another rookie. Again, a rookie with a lot of potential. Vita Roque, the striker at Barcelona. Has struggled for game time, but he looks like he could be a beast. So, again, a very nice rookie there. So, we'll take that one. We'll sleeve him in a second. We have Mika Gotts. We have got a Yazabal of Real Sociedad. We have Giovanni Reina. And we finish off with Hun Hyunjin. Yang of Celtic. Look at that. So we will just sleeve the Vita Roque for now. We'll take that little W. Get that one sleeve. There we go. 
So far, I would say the Aqua Parallels, KDB, Rocket, and Minta have been better in Blaster Box number two than they were in Blaster Box number one. So here we go, people. Is there a number card inside this box or in this pack even? We have Pulisic. We have a London Calling for Ricardo Pepe. We have an Alejandro Garnaccio, Future Stars. And we finish off with Oscar Gluck, rookie for Salzburg. Gluck, another good rookie prospect, in my opinion. Young Israeli midfielder. Looks like he could be good. So, next one in here, we have Baumgartner of Red Bull Leipzig. We've then got ourselves a silver Darwin Nunez of Liverpool. Get him down on the pile. We have Carlos Baleba, rookie for Brighton, and Usman Dembele to finish off that pack. Right, two more to go. One will have an aqua. One should have a numbered hit. So here's another aqua pack. This time, we have ourselves Angel Carrera of Atletico Madrid. We have Manu Bueno for Sevilla. We then got, oh, a very nice Wayne Rooney Starball debut. Look at that. In the old Vodafone kit as well. That is nice. We then have ourselves a Felix Nemeca, and we finish off with a shooting stars, Karim Adeyemi. So, final Pat Magic, people. Don't think we got an autograph, obviously, but I do think we have a chance at a nice numbered hit. We need to open it, and we just need to see what we've got from this pack. I can see some purple, which I think is high numbered, it is a Champions League, though. Champions League is good. Champions League is good. It's rookie, which is good. It's a Champions League rookie. It's a midfielder, so I don't think it's Laminia Mal. Laminia Mal, I was getting a little bit excited for there. So we'll go from the back. We have Petar Rakovic there for Salzburg. We've got ourselves a Yavi Simmons for Leipzig. We've then got that numbered here. I'm trying to be really careful with the people. I don't want to spoil it. It's purple, wave, 14, something. It's got Nike, 143. So it's high numbered. Gluck, possibly. Ah, oh, Oscar Gluck. We'll take Oscar Gluck. That is all right, people. Oscar Gluck, purple, ray wave of almost style. Uh, rookie right there. Look at that. That was a good card to finish on, people. Oscar Gluck, rookie from Topps Chrome. Uh, not a bad hit at all. A Mohamed Salah numbered and a Gluck numbered to finish. Do you know what? I think it's very debatable whether I got better numbered cards from a hobby box than I have from three blaster boxes, uh, which says a lot. Obviously, I have got that autograph here. But realistically, there's not an awful lot of difference right there, people. So... We are going to take 30 seconds and then we are going to summarise today's video. So there we have it, people. They are all of the hits. Two numbered cards, an Oscar Gluck to 175 and a Mohamed Salah to 199. We've got plenty of nice Aqua Prisms on the way too. A Rookie Roque, Rookie Minta, Scalvini, Jesus. A nice little mix, including Kevin De Bruyne as well, which is really good. And we've got a couple of nice refractors too. With Jack Grealish, Hoyland. Mount and Nunez. Very much a Premier League box, or boxes even, uh, for those refractor cards. So realistically, people, want to get your thoughts in the comments. Number card-wise, from my hobby box, I got a Till to 399, Elmas to 50, Forson to 250. From three blasters so far, Forson 75, Gluck to 175, Salah to 199. I know I don't have an autograph from those blasters, but realistically, for £90 which is, you know, just over a third of what a hobby box retails for now. That was not bad at all. So I think if you're sitting there thinking, do I bother with the blasters? I can't afford a hobby box. I do think the blasters are a fun rip. So I would still recommend going out and opening a couple if you want to. I really enjoyed it. I'll definitely take the Gluck. I'm happy with my two Aqua Prism rookies. Have I made £60 worth? Probably not. Gluck might get me to the £20 mark. Minter and Roque, maybe 30 35 Salah, maybe another fiver on top of that. So actually, we're only just going to be a little bit down from those boxes, which isn't bad at all. So overall, big fan of the blaster boxes. Definitely recommend opening one or two. And I'm hoping we can do some more Tops Chrome on the channel. So if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash that like button. Do comment. Let me know your hooks and the hits. And finally, do subscribe never to miss a single video 
from your boy Blazy. We'll be back with even more box openings next week and our Sunday rip short tomorrow. So have a fantastic weekend, people, and I'll see you soon for the next video.